Good afternoon. My name is Staff Sergeant Sion Ali. I'm currently stationed here in North Carolina on Camp Lejeune. I'm with 2nd Radio Battalion and my job title is Data Systems Chief. How many of us own smartwatches, smartphones, laptops, or anything that requires a internet connection and a password, maybe? Most of us are probably nodding our heads yes. The reason why I ask that because today's topic is about information security. How many of us are thinking about our internet connection or password complexity, or even how often we change our passwords? Probably not a lot of us. So what, <clears throat> excuse me, what is information security? As Southern New Hampshire University defines it, the protection of information and information systems from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. In the Marine Corps, we pretty much follow that very uh, same definition, just different words, but basically the same thing. So getting into our topic today, VPNs. What is a VPN, a virtual private network? As Joe Gervais, who is an employee of Norton Security, which you've probably seen a commercial or two, it's a, a VPN vendor, describes it as a virtual private network gives you online privacy and anonymity by creating a private network from a public connect, network, internet connection. Basically, it masks your connection that you have with an internet service provider to your smartphone or whatever device you're using, and it lets you browse the internet safely without worrying about penetration. That's not to say that it won't happen, but it lowers your chances, right? That's what a virtual private network does. Um, but that alone is not gonna secure your network, right? If that person gets past that VPN, what type of password do you have set up to wherever you're trying to browse? Um, is it complex enough? What I mean by complexity is what type of characters, series of numbers you have or is it something identifiably to you? For instance, your dog's name, your cat's name, your birthday, your address. I don't know who would actually do that, but it happens, believe it or not. That's not complex enough. Co password complexity, the higher the, or the more complex it is, the higher the chances of you being secure and the less chances of somebody actually cracking the code or hacking into you, all right? but. That's not to say that if it's complex enough, it won't ever happen, but thinking about changing your password often will also lessen the chances of you getting hacked. So password change frequency is very important. Over at Business Insider, John Davis, or Johnson, I'm sorry, David Johnson says that you need to change your password at least monthly. Now, depending on your activity, I think it's better to change your password based off of how long you're on a computer or how often you visit certain websites like Amazon or whatever business banking you do. For instance, if you're visiting Amazon daily for your business, it's most likely you would probably have to change your password at least weekly because if someone gets into that device you're using, they now know what type of products you're getting sent to your home, they have your address, and so on and so forth. All right, so those are some, some key details to think about when thinking about information security. Thank you for your time.